answer on that is, first of all, I'm not a big vaccination fan at all. Um, I, if, you know, if we were, I don't really agree with the laws on vaccines. So there's the one thing, there's the laws in the physical world. But generally speaking, I think we're actually, especially our animals are born with everything yeah. that we need. I don't really personally agree with the vaccines or the laws. That said, you know, um, I usually, with my own animals, I give them their first round to keep yeah. them vaccinated and then I don't revaccinate. Right. right, I don't revaccinate. No, no, but if you want to like follow the laws, what you can do is tighter. So your vet can do a tighter to make sure that they're still okay. Yeah. Look, yeah. if you want to help your animal companions, there's a few rules across the board. No drops on the body. Yeah. No flea drops. There are healthy, holistic alternatives. The, if you got to yeah. do it, if you got a really bad case, the internal like comfrey, comfrey is better, comfy. Yeah. But even that, there's way better. Look, let me first say the ones across the board because this is so important. No dried food. If it's a dried food, it's a carb. It's junk. It's a waste of your money. It doesn't even feed them. They're all craving something meaty, rich. Avoid canned foods too. It's dead. It's not even alive. Like home prepared. We already talked about that part. So, but that's the one rule across the board. No dried food and ideally no cans. Second rule across the board, no drops. No things to protect fleas that are collars. Across yeah. the board, that stuff is toxic poison. So for, if, for fleas and ticks, there's a home remedy you can make. It's really great and it really works. Unless you're in the peak, peak season, you can use an internal. But I'll talk about the energetics in a second. Witch hazel, aloe vera juice, combined with, um, oh my goodness, um, the three oils that I like, lavender, ro uh, rosemary, and citronella oils. You can get those, uh, I like the organic, all natural oils, right? You make yeah. equal parts of the first two, and then you mix in equal parts of each three of these oils. Like and Young Living Oil does one. Yeah, there's Daniela, all kinds of stuff yeah, now. And there's all so kinds of great. stuff on the, um, on the internet for there that. There really is. Um, so across the board, uh, just to answer the vaccination, uh, there are particular ones that a holistic vet will say these are absolutely necessary and leave the rest out. Um, and um, for ours, we just did the ones that were absolutely necessary. Um, for Angel, and basically, it was the first when she first came in um, to protect, like the digestion. We can talk. Yeah, yeah the first round. That's the right. first round. Parvo, you need. And you then do need parvo. Parvo. You parvo need that. Just if they're exposed to other dogs, if they're, um, unless they're an indoor, never going to go outside dog, then you um, just part of it is um, we have pets that are walking around making diseases in their body, leaving trails behind them. Um, and so we want to protect our dogs from that, our cats from those. And so those particular ones that are everywhere. But the f um, most of the flea, most of that is a neurotoxin. And it um, shortens the lifespan and it is a nerve irritant and so they're more likely to be nippy and um, more likely because they're agitated it's sort of like withdrawing coffee coffee from a peer for a period of time um they're just agitated and on alert with those the, the other thing i want to i want to ask you about your dogs because it's really pulling over here but the other thing energetically this is the thing to understand everything's energy everything yeah. And when fleas and ticks come around, it's because we ourselves are vulnerable. I've seen this with myself. I've seen this over and over again. Fleas and ticks come around when we're vulnerable, when we feel vulnerable, when we feel the world around us is sucking and draining our energy, when we feel parasites around us, parasitic people, relationships. So the way to keep our animals healthy, and this is, the, this is what they used to tell me all the time in my earlier days, the animals, what they want, what they want for us is our happiness. That's what they want for us. So when you say, how do I help my ha animal? It's so, so, so simple. Get healthy yourself, be happy, go out and play, do the simple things. Start putting as much value on your happiness and your joy as you do on your work and your career and your to-do list in your left brain, right? Because that's really what our animals want.